Hi, this is question 4 from the AQA Core 3 January 2013 exam paper. Um, for the first part of this video, I'd like you to try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and give the question a go. OK, well done if you managed to have a go. I'm not going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So we've got a diagram that shows a sketch of the curve um, with the equation y is equal to um, some function of x. On the axes, um, we need to sketch the curve with equation y is equal to the modulus of this function of x. So what we're saying here is that any um, negative y ordinate um, under this new function will become positive. So this point here, for example, um, would become the positive version of, of, of this point, which will end up over here. And this one here would end up over here. So um, anything below the x-axis is going to be reflected to appear above the x-axis. Anything already above the x-axis will stay where it is. Part B says describe a sequence of two geometrical transformations that maps the graphs of y is equal to f of x onto the graph of y is equal to f of 2x take away 1. Now because it's a sequence of two geometrical transformations we want to split this up into two stages. So um, I'm going to start with my original function which is f of x and I can say well first of all my x has been replaced with um, I can, I'll say x take away 1. So f of x now becomes f of x take away 1. So what transformation has taken place here? Then we're going to start with our f of x take away 1. And again, we want to see what does x get replaced with in order to, be, to make this f of 2x take away 1. So what has x been replaced with in order for that to happen? And what transformation does that mean? So we've now split this up into two separate transformations. There is another way of doing this because we could have started off by um, saying f of x has been replaced by f of 2x, etc. But we should have enough information here now to complete this transformation. OK, um, if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at answering the questions. OK, I'm now going to go over the full solution um, to this question. So starting with um, part A, um, it says on the axis below, sketch the curve with equation y is equal to the modulus of f of x. So um, what we said was if I've got this function here, everything below the axis is going to be reflected above the axis. So um, if I've got this here, and I'm going to carefully trace over this. I'm not very good at this. You'll have to bear with me. OK. And what we're saying is that this will reflect above the axes. Um, and it will look like that there. So I can now have a good go at drawing um, what this graph is going to look like. So I'm going to be a little bit lazy and I'm just going to duplicate this. And bring it over. Oops. Like so. And we're also going to have this bit here as well. Um, it's going to look like that there um, and there you go so that's what our graph should look like okay um, part so that's part A part B come over here part B and um, we want to describe a sequence of two geometrical transformations that maps a graph of y is equal to f of x onto the graph of y is equal to f of 2x take away 1. Now we started this earlier over here, so I said well 
um, if I replace x with x subtract 1 um, that will be a transformation that takes place and then over here I start with f of x subtract 1 and I replace x with 2x and that will be a second transformation that happens and in fact this here is going to be a translation of 1 0 followed by this here which is going to be well x has been replaced with 2x so that's going to be a stretch of an x has been replaced with 2x so it's going to be a factor of a half and that's going to be in x direction in the x direction okay so what we're saying is that this is going to move one to the right and then it's going to be stretched by a factor of a half so it's going to be squashed up a little bit um, and um, where this value was four before it's going to be five and then um, stretched by a factor of a half so 2.5 over there okay um, another way that we could have done this so this is fine and 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 um you know, i'll write b over here um because we can we can do it this way as well um i'm going to write it in a slightly different way this time because this time i'm going to say well we'll have f of x and we're going to say well, that's going to map to um f of 2x okay so my x has been replaced with 2x so I can say that's going to be a stretch of factor half in the x direction again okay and then I'm now starting with f of 2x now what do I replace 2x with to make oh sorry what do I replace my x with to change this into 2x subtract 1 well um, I'll have 2 and I would have to replace the x with um, x take away 0.5 yes yeah, so can we see we replace the x with x take away 0.5 now this will be the same as this because if I expand this out I get f of 2x take away 1 so I've replaced x with x subtract 0.5 so that tells me that I've now got a translation of and we're going to have 0 0.5 0 so um, my um, sequence of transformations in this case is going to be a stretch of factor half in the x direction followed by a translation of 0 0.5 0 so 0 0.5 units to the right so if we have a look at this again um, that would mean that this ordinate here where the x coordinate is 4 if it was going to stretch of a factor of a half in the x direction that would become 2 it would then shift because of the translation of 0 0.5 0 it would then translate 0 0.5 to the right so it would go to 2.5 so can you see it moved to 2.5 using this sequence of transformations and also did the same thing using these sequence of transformations because they mean the same thing they're just in a different order either of these would have been the correct solution to part b for all four marks okay i hope that was clear um, thanks very much for joining me for this video i look forward to seeing you again soon take care